not lightweight. Jason, and today we're gonna to be going over the MMR uh, lightweight water pump pulleys. Also bought the ARP hardware to go with it, and we're also gonna be going over the Stita um, tensioner pulley and idler the pulley. Come on, go. So on today's video, we're gonna be doing these modifications to my 2017 Mustang GT Performance Pack, aka Ashanti. And my reasons for doing these modifications is personally. I've looked around, nobody has actually documented what horsepower these mods make. Steeda makes a water pump pulley like MMR does, but Steeda's was a little bit heavier, coming in at 1.3 pounds, give or take, right around there. MMR one is a little bit under a pound, so it's a little bit lighter. MMR claims that theirs produces horsepower. Steeda does not, they say it's more of a looks thing, but regardless of the fact, even if you go with Steeda, you'll still see benefits in performance due to the fact there's less rotational mass. Mm -hmm. Now, the other pulleys, which will be the billet idler and the billet tensioner pulley, necessarily won't be making that much of a difference, but if y'all understand how physics works, more weight means more rolling resistance that it puts exactly. against the belt, which so would have lighter the pulley being a less rotational mass, meaning that you can put more, a little more power out. And I'm thinking that it will make about Five to six horsepower. Yeah, about five to six. Five probably. to six horsepower gain, which More is less. still something. You know, it's not a lot, but it's still something. You know? For the price point, you really can't complain, to be honest with you, exactly. at all. So, for those of you who don't know, and say that it's a pointless mod. Granted, it's not going to do a lot, like I said before, but weight is exponential as it spins. Yeah. So the lighter it is, the better. Exactly. The so it it'll take less inertia to move the pulleys which in turn will benefit the engine so it's not really adding power it's just freeing up power that the engine already has mm -hmm. with that being said we will be dynoing the mustang before and after we're showing you guys the power difference like we said it's not going to be making that much power but we want to show you guys how much power you can make with doing this upgrade yeah so before i tell about the mods on the car i'm gonna real quick touch on another point so for I'm doing this more so for the guys who don't want to avoid their warranty yet. Next mm -hmm. video, we're going to be doing another thing to see how much power you can really get out of these engines without having a tune. Because the intake I have on here is no tune. All I have is an exhaust, you know. So, mm -hmm. really, for the guys who want to pull the most out of their car without having to tune, tune it, this is for y'all. Now that we touched on that, I'm going to just go through the list of the mods on the car power-wise. As it is, all it has is an air raid intake, no tune required with the drive filter. Um, it has a three inch exhaust, AWB track edition, which is a cat back exhaust. Mm -hmm. And aside from that, all we did to get accurate dyno readings was we cleaned the intake. This has been on there for what, like 30,000 miles, 2030. So we just cleaned the, the filter today. Um, we just put in some new spark plugs, which are NGK IX Iridiums. Mm -hmm. And the only other difference that may contribute to a little bit more power is uh, we did the GT500 coil packs off of the 2020 GT500, which is a Predator motor. Exactly. They were supposed to be a direct bolt in, but we had to make some slight modifications. Make. So aside from them giving a little bit more spark, which will help in uh, better burning of the fuel and all that, it shouldn't be adding too much power. Um, I've seen coil packs from uh, Granite Telly add maybe like 10 to 15 horsepower. I don't see them adding that much. Last point I want to make before we get into the video itself is this. A lot of y'all don't know. Cars, what they are rated at from the factory is at the flywheel. So the engine itself is put on a dyno and they rate that. Mm -hmm. Cars that we rate on a chassis dyno is rated from the rear wheels. So there's gonna be a drivetrain loss because you have to go through a transmission, a drive shaft, differential, all those different things. Automatics do yield um, a higher uh, horsepower loss than manuals. My car is manual, so we'll be looking at about 15% drivetrain loss. 
So if this car was completely bone stock, making 435 at the crank, it should be making about 370 wheel. Being the fact that I have an intake and exhaust, it would be looking probably at about 380 to 390, around there. I'm not sure how much the coil packs will add, if any, but yeah, so just so you guys know, don't expect this car to make 435 at the tire. It's just not gonna happen. A lot of y'all don't understand. For example, like with Hellcats, they make 707 at the crank. A lot of Hellcats don't make over like 620 wheel horsepower stock. Mm -hmm. So they don't really make 707. They make like 620 some exactly. horsepower, but the manufacturer race it at the crank. So just expect to see this car is gonna make 435. I know a lot of you car guys know this, but for you people who are new to cars and don't know a lot about cars, yes, that's, that's just a point that y'all should know and learn. But the crank and wheel horsepower are two totally different things. Yeah, crank and wheel, two different things, two very different numbers. And manuals are gonna make always more horsepower than autos. If you take the same car, same setup, manuals gonna make a little bit more horsepower. But just so y'all understand that, man. But just so y'all know, man, I wanted to make that clear so a lot of y'all aren't confused. So I know some of you new to car people might be saying, oh, but it's making less horsepower than it should. No, it's going to be making accurate horsepower. But without further ado, man, let's get into the video. This wasn't the highest run from the last time. Last time we made like a total of what, like 367 torques, something yeah. like that. But it made more torque, about, uh, what's that, six pounds? About made more, six more pound foot of torque. And it made a total, about the same horsepower, but if you look at the curve right here, all the way through, there are spots where it peaks. It made the same peak power, but there are a couple spots, well, the whole way through it carry more power same with the torque if you look it's up by like two or three pounds i mean two or three four maybe five horsepower here can't really tell particularly but you know every little increase in my opinion counts all right just got the car out of the dyno and as you can see we made about five foot pounds of torque and we gained power throughout the curve and uh, so it wasn't a lot of power, but um, torque increase and power through the curve. I'm not mad. It was for the MMR pulley, $79, so whatever. What I noticed is a lot of you don't notice. I thought it was pretty common like knowledge. But like I said earlier, car manufacturers rate the vehicle off of the engine horsepower. So the engine is not in the car. Right, so they rate the power from the engine itself. You lose power regardless whether it's front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, manual, automatic. I'm not gonna get into all that, y'all can research that later. But with that being said, my car, like I said earlier, 15% loss. So it makes 435 at the crank stock, which relates to about 370 horsepower because 15% of three, 15% uh, of 435 is about 60 65 something like that so that relates about 370 
So with that being said, my car stock makes about 370 wheel horsepower. Um, and we made about 386, 387 around there and 370 some foot pounds of torque. So it's making about 16 wheel horsepower over stock. So that means that the crank is making about 450, 455 horsepower around there. So it is up some. So I already know some of you will come here and be like, oh, it should be, it's making way less horsepower than it, it should have. Not the case, it's just that they rate the engine horsepower, not the wheel horsepower. Big difference. And you might ask yourself, is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. Listen, we made it five foot pounds of torque gain. Also, the horsepower pretty much stayed the same, but we still made a gain throughout the curve, okay? So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty good increase in my opinion. Like I said, for $79 for that pulley. Yeah, now, let me tell y'all, the Steeda pulley, shit is not lightweight. Y'all saw in the weights. It looks we, lightweight. It look lightweight and they're advertised as lightweight, but they're not lightweight. Now, in Steeda's defense, they don't, they're they are not saying it's increasing anything, nothing like that. Cause really the MMR pulley is the only one that's driving something. You feel me? The, the Steeda pulley is just kind of there, but they are heavier. We still lost weight because of how light the MMR pulley is compared to the stock one. But they are heavier, but they're supposed to be stronger. So I bought them, shit, I'm gonna use them. Exactly. But just saying for y'all that are like really into that, you probably get a little bit, little bit more game from just using an MMR pulley by itself. But in my opinion, it's worth it. I wouldn't get the Steeda pulleys if I bought them again, but the MMR one is definitely worth it. Like I said, like he said, five foot pounds of torque to the wheels. And it's, it's a game. It would make sense to buy them if you wanted to make a little bit of power. And also if you wanted to add that little bit of touch on your engine bay, that will also be a good look if you're also looking for that. Yeah, they look great to be honest, but uh, Man, with that being said, that's all we got for you today. Stay tuned. We got more in the future. We definitely, definitely going to the track. So go check out the next video, see what we ran at the track. Um, but definitely we got some big stuff coming for this car later on. Uh, got a couple more dyno videos coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, some more stuff, trying to make some more power. Trying to run some better times at the track. So definitely keep in touch. I got big goals for this car. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell y'all just yet, but just, just stay in tune. And just like that, we out. We out.